here's the subway scene so far I've got the desk in here from uh, the other day I put the fan on the desk I might change the scale of that and I model some very simple chairs there's a lot of videos on modeling chairs so I won't uh, bore you with that uh, what I will bore you with though is a couple of desk props and in this video I'm going to do a quick uh, ashtray because you got to have an ashtray right so let's get to it so I'm going to select uh, I think this bring my 3d cursor there I'm going to look down from the top and I'm going to hide the, the roof there okay shift a mesh plane I think I'll scale this down a little bit and scale this in the Y and from the front which I know you can't see I'm going to rotate X90 so I got that let's bring that up okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in um, an edge loop there control B pull it out and I'm going to throw in another edge loop right there I'll go into vertex selection and I think I'll put another edge loop there and right there and I'm going to take these three and I'm going to pull them down a little and this one I'm going to pull it down a little bit more to make an indentation and then I'm going to take these two and I am going to extrude them like that and I'll throw some edge loops in again just like that now we can take the whole thing and I can scale it down some more okay so I've got that and now I'm going to add an array to that so let's bring that up and actually before we do that let's actually move this to a collection Okay, so now I'm going to add an array in the X. I'm going to give it three. And then I'm going to shift A, bring in a curved circle. So there it is. I'm going to take my array and I'm going to add a curve modifier. Choose my circle. And I'm going to hit S to scale. And I'm just going to bring it up. Uh, alternatively, I could take the circle and I can scale I can do that so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to bring this as close as I can pretty close doesn't really matter that much okay right about there is good enough so I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply the array and the curve modifier I can get rid, uh, rid of the curve now if I can select it there it is come back into here and in wireframe mode, I'm going to select those, M, merge, and center. And where are those other ones? Oh, geez. M, merge, and center. I'm going to M, uh, merge by distance, and I get rid of a little bit. Okay, let's just focus just on the ashtray itself. Shift H, period key, zoom in. Okay. A little bit high poly um, you can go through this if you want and I could take say every second edge or take just take a bunch of them like this and we get rid of these okay something like that we could dissolve edges uh, if we wanted to that would be okay Let's Alt M, uh, calculate outside, make sure. Let's grab this, E and S, come in, face, grid fill. Okay, let's go back now and add solidify. I'm going to bring it in, I think, a certain thickness. I'll put on even thickness as well. I'm going to apply that. Control 1, we'll try that. Shade smooth. And let's try bevel on the bottom, control B, just with one segment there. And let's do the same on the top. Maybe like that. Maybe we'll pull one down. And there you go. We got an ashtray. Let's bring everything back. And 
and uh, go into edit mode and scale this down. Now we'll get rid of that, that again. And just bring that over there somewhere. I don't know where. We'll figure out where later on. Okay, let's have a look again with the cavity shader. Maybe shadows. And maybe just that stark. Okay, and then you can adjust it from there. Scale shift Z. Maybe scale in the Z too. Maybe it is too tall. So all that stuff's up to you. Okay, so how big is that? You know, less than 2,000. It's still kind of hefty, but there's an ashtray. Okay, and the other plans would be uh, make a pen and a folder and some papers and maybe a stamper, you know, rejected. <laughs> Go.